Hi, I'm Kevin Potter, and I make hydraulic presses. This is the very first one I ever made, and these are the new designs. The difference between these, I'm just going to do a brief description. This has six inches between the platens, which is usually adequate for just about anything you'd want to do. The new design has seven inches between platens, and if you use the short bottle jack, you get nine inches between the platens. The major redesign on this press is this. I've changed the base of the press. This allows me to use the middle to get the base of the press. It saves a lot of metal and it allowed me to keep the price the exact same this year, even with the price of metal going up. It still has all, all the same features as the originals, the guided platens, the, it still bolts to the base. There's a threaded in, you can thread right into the bottom of this to bolt it to your table. I know a lot of you don't bother, but it's important to bolt it down. And I've also come up with a magnetic upper platen. It's quicker, easier to put in. Because I know changing stuff out is kind of a hassle sometimes. The presses still take all the bracelet formers and all of the other stuff is exactly the same. Except I took a vote and people seem to be really pushing for purple. So th at least this first run of 10 is purple. They're all powder coated and should last forever. This is a new press I've come up with. I've been getting requests from people for more tonnage, so I've made a few 50 ton presses with bottle jacks, but I've changed the design and we're gonna go with Interpack systems now. Uh, it's a porta power cylinder. I've changed the design of the frame as well. It's a lot stronger, and but it is quite a bit smaller than the old ones. It has the same sort of system as these. This is just my very first one. It's unfinished, but it will be done here in the next week or so. And that's it. Talk to you later. Thanks for watching.